Good day. The state television company Western Army represent the most important news for today. Today's broadcast. Wishes 2024. Died Gagik Ginosian. The lawyers who were prosecuted under Article 41 were justified. Everything depends on Armenia. May this of honey. We in our place name. The Artsakh champion wins the ring again. Traditional ceremonies. In the scope of Wishes 2024, a gathering was held and Senator Brigitte Deves was thanked for her work. Brigitte Deves had a speech surrounded by young people who are engaged in politics and social activities. Brigitte Deves received an award of Black Area Association, Parliamentary Commitment and a book of Rafi Kortoshan, Artsakh Indigenous Heritage, gifted by people of Artsakh, which was granted to her by Mr. Armina Gabrahamian, the President of the National Council of Western Armenia. Dait Gagi Ginosian, the founder and artistic director of Karin, traditional song dance group and um, honored figure of Armenian culture and participant in the Artsakh war. Gagi Ginosian is from the city of Karin in Western Armenia, by origin who honorably bears the surname, the background of which comes from the historical homeland. Since 1987, Gagi Ginosian started dancing in the ethnographic group Van created by Harik Murajan and became a, a laureate of four different international festivals. In 2001, he founded Zovak and Karin traditional song dance group. Ginosian, while visiting many villages, wrote down descriptions of many dances and restored 47 national dances, the first performer of which was Karin Group. The editorial staff of Western Armenian TV expresses its condolence to Gagik Ginoistan, to its family members and relatives. The lawyers prosecuted under Article 301 were justified. The ex-chairman and council members of the Granagir Chamber of Advocates who were prosecuted under Article 301 of the Turkish Criminal Court for their declaration on genocide against Armenia were justified. The Granagir Chamber of Advocates to 2018 and 2020, Chairperson Jihan Aydan and members of the Board of the Directors were prosecuted under Article 301 of the Turkish Criminal Court for the declaring the de genocide against Armenia on April 24. Serdar Chalabi and the Fik Karahanda did not appear at the session of the Ninth Criminal Court of Tigranagert for valid reasons. The lawyers declared that the um, statement about the genocide against Armenians is within the scope of freedom of thought and expression. The genocide committed against Armenia took place in the Ottoman period after the lawyers' statements, their defenders, Mehmet Amin, Akhtar Raji, Bilingi, Sheimus, Bayhan Gafar, Koluman Nahideren made their def defense speeches. The lawyers emphasized that the genocide took place during the Ottoman period and the Turkish nation, the state of the Republic of Turkey, the Grand National Assembly of Turkey, the government of the Republic of Turkey, the judicial body, even of the state did not exist at the time. Lawyers noted that the words used by their defendants don't contain humiliation and were conditioned by the situation and to acquit their defendants. After a short break, the court decided to acquit Aydan and all the council members. For Iran, the route to the Black Sea through the territory of Armenia is more preferable than to Baku. This was announced by the ambassador of Iran to Eastern Armenia, Mehdi Sobhani. According to him, the Armenian route is two days shorter than Baku one. Iran considers that transportation route to the Black Sea through the territory of Armenia is the best way and for the Armenian side, the route to the Persian Gulf through the territory of Iran is preferable, said the ambassador. The attractiveness of the Armenian route it is necessary to lower tariffs and build new roads. The Iranian diplomat called infrastructure development a key issue. Iran has already shown through its military and political actions that they are against the changes of the borders in the region, said Mehdi Sopani. Iran considers that the relations with Armenia are st more strategic and serve benefit for the stability of the South Caucasus and the region. There is mutual understanding between uh, our governments and we are taking measures in this direction. This serves for the benefit and security of the region, said the ambassador. In response to the question on uh, Baku's ambitions regarding the extraterritorial transport corridor through the territory of Eastern Armenia, the ambassador said, I Iran's position on this matter is more than clear and we have al always emphasized that we are against any geographical changes of the world borders in the region. To the question if Baku will try to carry out any military aggression against Armenia, what actions Iran will take? 
The answer was that their action will depend on the position of the Armenian authorities, added the ambassador. This is not the first time that Iran makes important statements on the eve of decisive process in the region. The statements of the ambassador of Iran's statements are warning not only to are directing not only to Baku and Moscow, who want to eliminate the Armenian-Iranian border, the Persian Gulf Black Sea corridor passing through Armenia. This is a warning primarily to Yerevan too, whose policy ties Iran's hands. If Armenia voluntarily agrees to surrender and disappear as a state, what can Iran do? The ambassador says. In the Armenian highlands in Garian province, Yerzenga province of Western Armenia, 50 km to the southwest of Yerzenga city, Gamach in the Gamach province, through which the road connects Akhan city with Arabkir and Karabert cities, Turks changed name to Gemach Bogazi. Here they try to adapt the word Kamakh to their pronunciation and change it to Kamakh and the George translated Bogaz. This is the place where on May 28, in 1915, only the Turks massacred 25,000 Armenians displaced from the Arzenka province and turned the Ge Georgia into a burial place for Armenians. In the Armenian highlands on the western Yeprats River in western Armenia, in the Derjan or Mamakhatun province of the Karini province, near the old town Kotar, about two kilometers west from it, almost as far east from Nerses Mountain, at the place where Derjan River connects with Yeprat River and the seven arced Armenian bridge of Kotar, Turks changed and renamed it to Ketur Kyopru. In this toponym, the word Kotar adapting to their pronunciation because Ketur and the Baraj component was translated to Kyopari. As a result of these changes, the place name of Armenian Kotari Baraj has been mentioned since ancient time, be became Ketur Kopru, which is a name far from Armenian meaning. The Artsakh champion wins the ring again. Many people know Armin Haidabetan in Artsakh. In his story of success, inspiration he created for 23 years of hard work with dedication and many victories. Mixed martial fights are the martial fight art where the Artsakh champion established. It's been a, a long, even, eventful journey, constant improvement, dedication to the art, winning titles. Amin Hayabetan, who grew up in the shadow of the Artsakh monument, always raised Artsakh flag victor victoriously. After the loss of the birthplace, he decided to regain determination and start the struggle again. Currently, Armin Hayabetan has started to develop his career in Eastern Armenia because the triumph and the desire to conquer new hits never fit. On February 25, the largest tournament between athletes of Eastern Armenia and China will be organized, during which Armin Hayabetan will represent Eastern Armenia. Traditional folk holidays are gr grouped as follows in Armenia. Calendar holidays, they are meant to regulate the spirit of society and economic life and have two components, a folk festival and the church cer ceremonies. New Year is celebrated on January 1, substituted the traditional holiday of Navasart. It officially is entered Armenian world in the 18th century, according to the calendar of Catholics Simeon Yerevanti. The main features of the holiday are festive food, so-called fortune teller bread, tare, and the bell tank custom, water, fire, and the fire physical and spiritual cleaning, eliminating paying of debts, removing evil from the house, etc. An official state calendar has been approved in accordance with the law on holidays and commemorations of Armenia. Non-working days are December 31st, January 1st, and the 2nd. Christmas baptism and is a permanent holiday, celebrated on January 6, heralding the birth and baptism of Christ. The spiritual ceremony is celebrated with church. The water is blessed and the water is sprinkled on it as a sign of Christ's baptism. Christmas is considered the Feast of the Tabernacle and the Lord's Feast. The pre-holiday evening preceding the holidays is called Candle Month. The holiday is characterized by the blessing of the priest, the tour of boys singing the gospel in groups of three of seven souls, and a festive dish specific to each province. It was customary to say when greeting each other, Jesus was born and appeared, blessing to the revelation of Jesus. When greeting each other, it was customary to say Jesus was born and appeared, blessed be the revelation of Jesus. Public and memorial holidays are celebrated in accordance with the law of the Republic of Armenia. This was all for today. Goodbye. Kisko
Take us, Rahamga, Shahem. 